exciting news guys I've sold the house I can't believe it this is great everything can start now Welcome back guys and thank you as always for watching and the exciting news is this week that I've sold the house and I'm really happy I've got a good price for it it's a cash buyer and uh, so she has the money in the bank she sold her house a while ago she's very keen to move fast uh, so uh, yeah it's all happening so yeah like I say she's a cash buyer and um, I'm obviously not buying anything, so there's no reason this process can't go quicker than I imagined. So uh, it's all systems go now to get this house packed up. So I've been going around the house and I've started with all my pictures and just bubble wrapping them up and putting them in boxes. Um, I'll take you outside and show you my car. But before I show you the car, look. Uh, the garage with the terrible lighting. Look how much space I've made. So I sold one of those trolleys that was blocking my washing machine and um, I packed up a load of stuff which I'll show you that's in the car ready to take on Saturday. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, look, I've even, oh, that is typical, isn't it? You pack your boxes and they don't plumb and stick down. But I started packing some stuff. But uh, yeah, this looks better, doesn't it? Much, much emptier than it was. What a mess it was. Anyway, let's go and I'll show you the car. So I've like absolutely packed the car with stuff to take to this tabletop sale. So that's the back seat. I've got a couple more lamps to put in, but I thought I'd wait until I got that. Oh my God, perhaps I shouldn't have opened the boot. It took me a while to get it shut. And there we go. So that got it out of the garage. And here's the van. So this is going to probably be my home for a bit. Now I can't get in it at the moment because it's got a leak in the roof. And so it, that tarpaulin is tied down until, until I get that sorted. But that'll be home. As this is going to go quite quickly now, I'm probably going to be living in the van for a bit. So I better get this fixed. So uh, it's got a leak in the roof at the moment. So I need to get that fixed. But the problem is we need a couple of days of dry weather, which is never guaranteed here in the UK. But this will probably be my home for a bit. So guys, my plan was to be sold up and homeless by mid-August. Uh, so I have a trip planned to Australia for two months. And then when I get back, I plan to go off traveling full time. Super excited. I really can't wait. But there's lots of work to do now. So as I said, I've got a garage sale. i am got things listed on market. Not a garage sale, sorry. I've got a tabletop, like an indoor car boot sale I'm doing on Saturday at a local charity. Um, I've got things on Vinted, I've got things on Facebook Marketplace, I've got some things on eBay, but I need to put some more on eBay. And I've been uh, starting to pack uh, things. Now, the good thing was when we did the garage sale, I did pull out a lot of things around the house that I didn't want and that I wanted to sell. So. It's kind of made it easy that in each room now I have the things I want to keep or someone else is keeping and just furniture. So uh, my son and I are having a call video call later today. So he's just bought a house. And so any furniture he wants will just assign to him and everything else I can then start putting on Facebook Marketplace to try and get rid of it all. Um, and I've got quite a bit of furniture, really, for one person. It's quite crazy. So it, i just got to get on with it. But it's super, super exciting. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Very, very exciting. 
And so, uh, you know, obviously I've been thinking about my travel plans for a long time and where I want to go. Now this two month trip to Australia, I, I planned it for years. Um, and so I'm definitely still doing that. And I'm basically hiring a camper van. Well, it's like a car with a camper on it. Like they call it a tray on in Australia. I'd never heard of one until um, I booked this. And I'm going to be doing a road trip from Perth up to Darwin. And I've always got to do the Gibb River Road. So very excited about that. Then down the middle to Adelaide. So go through Uluru and Alice Springs and Cooper Pedy. And then all along the bottom back to Perth. So through the Nullabar. Um, yeah, that, this will be an amazing, you know, sort of trip. Um, it's, go, it's a lot more expensive than I'm going to be budgeting for my full-time travel. And I've been working on that, on my budget, and putting plans together. Now, every time I put plans together, the Google flights seem to change. And so I'm like, <laughs> whereas I wanted to go to Buenos Aires from Madeira after Christmas, um, when I first looked, the flights were like four or five hundred, which are expensive, but... Not now, they double that, and I'm like, oh, blimey. Um, you know, that's, that's quite a lot of money when you're trying to work to a budget. So I, I, I keep changing my plans. But I think what I will do is concentrate on the house for now. Keep thinking about what I want to do, because I know where I want to go, basically everywhere. And, um, but I think in my heart of hearts, it's st still Antigua, because I do love Antigua. And it gives me a feeling like I still have a home because I won't have a home here, whereas there it does feel like home to me. Um, but other than that, it's really Asia. It's always been Asia in my heart of hearts. So I think that's where I'll probably head to. But let's see. Um, I'll obviously keep you updated on my plans. Well, I hope you're excited for me too. Um, I can't believe this is going to happen. And of course, because there's no chain either side, this is probably going to happen a lot quicker. And so I need to get that van fixed and uh, just live in that for the time being until I go to Australia and get, get going. Anyway, I just want to share my exciting news with you. Um, it happened quite quickly, didn't it, really? So three, four weeks it was on the market. And, uh, you know, you just need that one person that falls in love with it, like I did when I viewed it. And... Uh, I think uh, I met her and she's, she's a lovely lady and I think she's going to be very happy here. This is a great neighbourhood to live in. Um, so super excited. I'll keep you updated. Thank you guys.